What's cool about this version of the Ninja Turtles is that it is a little edgier. We opened the door to our 21st century turtles in this new graphic look. Mirage and four kids will up the action quotient. It's serious kick butt ninja action all the way. We are doing things that you haven't seen on this show. The graphic look, we do a lot of black shadows, trying to make it edgier, darker. It takes place in New York City. We're actually working in New York City, and so it's based on realism, but there's also a lot of fantastic backgrounds. Instead of having each episode as a separate self-contained story, is to build a larger, growing storyline that evolves over the course of the season. We've taken the classic Ninja Turtles from the comic book, with four great characters where they were smarter, savvier, uh, a little more sophisticated than what's been seen before. And we, we updated it all for today's audience. Let's turtleize them. I'm really psyched to be playing Leonardo. I grew up watching the Turtles, and Leonardo is the strong, the leader, the big brother of the group. To become a ninja warrior, you must combine stealth and secrecy. I play Splinter, who is sort of the parent in this turtle environment. Uh, he sort of takes care of the four turtles. There's Raphael, who is sort of the tough, brooding guy. Raph is always hunched over pissed off, kind of angry kind of a guy. Donatello is the inventor of the group. He makes this the cool battle shell, which is this amazing all-terrain vehicle. He's the best engineer I know. And I would say Michelangelo is also my favorite character. He's just the wise-cracking guy. He says those things that all of us would like to say in certain instances, um, but we bite our tongues. So they still have their individual characters, and they still have their charm, and they still have their family connection, which is really what made them great characters to begin with. But they don't take no crap. When the Turtles first exploded on the scene in the late 1980s, their phenomenal success literally changed the children's entertainment, licensing, and merchandising business. The fun in this reintroduction of the Turtles to a whole new generation of kids is to see them enjoy what their older siblings, uncles, maybe even a parent or two, enjoyed the first time around. And we think we're going to deliver something this time that's even better than the original. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! Turtles count it off. Turtles. It's a shell of a town. Turtles count it off. One, two, three, four. Turtles. There's no one better. Turtles. Watch out for Shredder. 